Stop. Before you even think about buying a new camera this year, you need to hear this. The rumors. They're not just rumors anymore. They are seismic shifts. What if I told you that everything you know about high-resolution mirrorless cameras is about to become obsolete? Because deep within the Sony labs, a beast is being finalized. A camera designed not just to capture the light, but to redefine reality. I'm talking about the mythical, long-awaited Sony A7R6. Four years, we've been stuck in the 61 megapixel cage. Good. Yes. Revolutionary. Not for a while. But the A7R6 is allegedly punching through that ceiling. Welcome to my channel tech launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. Leaks suggest we are finally getting a full-frame sensor pushing towards 90, maybe even 100 megapixels. Think about that for a second. That's a file size that will make your computer weep, but it's a level of detail that could let you print a billboard and still not see a single pixel edge. This isn't just a slight bump. This is a completely new paradigm for landscape, portrait, and commercial photographers. But here's the crucial question. How is Sony achieving this without turning the camera into a slow, overheating brick? The answer is in the stacked design. We're not just getting more pixels, we're getting faster pixels. The A7RV gave us a taste, but the A7R6 is said to feature the next generation Bion's XR processor, capable of handling this massive data flood with ease. This means two things you absolutely care about, zero blackout continuous shooting and insane readout speeds that virtually eliminate rolling shutter. But wait, there's a whisper from the deepest corners of the leak sphere, the possibility of a global shutter implementation. Now, if that is true, and we'll dedicate the next few minutes to the implications, the A7R6 stops being just a camera and becomes a game changer for hybrid shooters worldwide. Video Revolution and the Hybrid Hype, Minutes 9 to 16. Let's be honest, the R series has always prioritized stills. But in 2024, if your camera doesn't crush video, it's irrelevant. The A7R6 is finally giving video creators the resolution they've been begging for, and not just in a crippled format. Forget 8K at 24 frames. The leaks point to 8K at 60 frames per second, internally, with a claimed 10-bit 4.2.2 codec. That's a staggering amount of data, but it solves the one major pain point of the A7RV, the crop. Speculation suggests the 8K will be recorded oversampled from the full width of the new high-res sensor. This means your wide lenses stay wide, and the image quality is simply staggering. But here's the hidden, secret killer feature you probably haven't heard about, enhanced active cooling. This isn't just a passive heatsink. The buzz suggests a redesigned, almost A9-like thermal management system that will allow the camera to record those demanding 8K 60P files for extended periods. No more arbitrary time limits. No more emergency shutdowns. This is the first time the high-resolution line may legitimately challenge the likes of the Canon R5C and the Nikon Z8 for serious, professional video production. And yes, the dynamic range. With a potential increase to 15-plus stops, this camera won't just see the shadows and highlights, it will define them. Your grading process will fundamentally change. But enough about the tech specs. Let's talk about the experience. Autofocus and ergonomic overhaul, minutes 17 to 24. Speed is nothing without accuracy. Sony's real-time tracking AF is already phenomenal, but the A7R6 is said to be taking the computational photography leap. We're talking about a completely new AI processing unit dedicated solely to object recognition. Imagine, your camera won't just track a human. It will instantly identify the subtle difference between a runner, a cyclist, and a skateboarder, and instantly adjust its predictive algorithms. It's not just recognizing a bird, it's recognizing a falcon in flight versus a static owl, and locking focus with precognition. This is predictive AF, powered by next-level machine learning. It's the end of missed shots. Now, the body. The A7R series has always been a little chunky. But leaks indicate a serious ergonomic refinement. We're getting the deep, comfortable grip of the A93, combined with a potential tilt-swivel LCD that is significantly brighter and higher resolution. But the biggest ergonomic leak? A dedicated, physical AF-MF switch finally placed in a position that makes sense. It's a subtle thing, but it proves Sony is listening to the power users. 
the EVF2 is getting a massive boost, a near 10 million dot 240 hertz refresh rate electronic viewfinder. When you put your eye to that, you won't be looking at a screen, you'll be looking directly at reality, but with perfect exposure simulation. The price, the release date, and your decision, minutes 25 to 30. So, the question remains, when can you hold this beast, and how much is it going to cost you? This is where the leaks get heated and the speculation peaks. The most reliable sources point to an official announcement window in early 2026, with availability following shortly after. Sony wants to dominate the first half of the year. Now, the financial hit. The A7RV launched at nearly $3,900. Given the rumored 100MP sensor, the global shutter possibility, and the 8K-60P capabilities, we are almost certainly looking at a launch price hovering between $4,500 and $5,000. This is not a hobbyist camera. This is an investment in professional-grade imaging for the next five years. So, should you buy the A7RV right now? Absolutely not. You are standing on the precipice of a genuine technological leap. If these leaks are even half right, buying the current model is like buying a high-end sports car the day before a jet fighter is released. The Sony A7R6 is coming, and it is poised to shatter the high-resolution market and rewrite the rules for what a full-frame camera can truly achieve. Don't spend a single dollar until you see what this monster can do. The future of imaging is not just high resolution. It's high speed. It's AI powered. It's global. And it's wearing the A7R6 badge. Are you ready for the evolution? A7R6 is said to feature the next generation Bion's XR processor, capable of handling this massive data flood with ease. This means two things you absolutely care about. Zero blackout continuous shooting and insane readout speeds that virtually eliminate rolling shutter. But wait, there's a whisper from the deepest corners of the leak sphere, the possibility of a global shutter implementation. Now, if that is true, and we'll dedicate the next few minutes to the implications, the A7R6 stops being just a camera and becomes a game changer for hybrid shooters worldwide. Video revolution and the hybrid hype, minutes 9 to 16. Let's be honest, the R series has always prioritized stills. But in 2024, if your camera doesn't crush video, it's irrelevant. The A7R6 is finally giving video creators the resolution they've been begging for, and not just in a crippled format. Forget 8K at 24 frames. The leaks point to 8K at 60 frames per second, internally, with a claimed 10-bit 4.2.2 codec. That's a staggering amount of data, but it solves the one major pain point of the A7RV, the crop. Speculation suggests the 8K will be recorded oversampled from the full width of the new high-res sensor. This means your wide lenses stay wide, and the image quality is simply staggering. But here's the hidden, secret killer feature you probably haven't heard about, enhanced active cooling. This isn't just a passive heatsink. The buzz suggests a redesigned, almost A9-like thermal management system that will allow the camera to record those demands.